Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So tonight we are going to be working on drawing down this bar of solid copper. We're going to take and turn this into a copper split cross for a customer of mine. So I hope over the next uh, few days or so to be able to take and put out the progressive videos on this process. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy and I hope my customer is going to be happy with this. But uh, tonight we're going to use the beam hammer and we're going to draw this thing down. Thanks for watching. Okay, the first step in this process, we won't need all this bar. Anytime that you work with copper, you got to keep in mind <coughs> that the copper, the whole piece will heat up in order just for you to work one end of the piece. So you can't hold on to copper like you would with other material and work out just the end as copper is an excellent conductor of heat. So you can't do that. So we need to cut this down. So the bar right now is measuring approximately inch and a quarter by inch and a half. What I need to do is I need to turn this into roughly an inch and a quarter square bar. So I'm really not going to take and draw down too much. I just need to take and draw a little bit off of this side here. So I need to compress it this way. During that process, <coughs> this piece is going to lengthen fairly considerably. But like with all split crosses, you have to keep in mind that whatever your total overall length is going to be, that's kind of how tall the whole thing is going to be. So, you know, when it opens up, you're going to have two halves of the same bar. So when it opens up, it's going to open up quite a bit bigger than probably what you need. So where I'm going to start with this as, I'm going to go ahead and start this piece off at roughly about 10 inches long with the material. I think that should give me enough material here that if I screw something up I can go again here yes the whole piece is 20 inches long so I'll probably go about 10 inches long in fact I might go a little less than that and see where I'm at I think maybe 8 inches would be appropriate for this size uh, split cross that I am working on so we will go ahead and cut it off at about 8 inches of material and get this thing hot and get it under the power hammer but ultimately what we're trying to do is draw this down. Now this is copper, so it'll work a little softer. It's will be a little softer than steel, or well, considerably a bit softer than steel. But with this big of a mass, it's nice to take and have a power hammer to take and work that down. So let's get it cut and be over at the power hammer.
Okay, everyone, so that was just a small uh, teaser clip of a little bit what I could get out today. This was a little more of a vlog style uh, post than it was a how-to tutorial. Uh, but I just want to start bringing you guys along for the ride. Some more of the my today today in the shop. I hope that's okay with everybody. <coughs> um, if you're new to the channel, you know me. I'm usually, uh, for the people who know me, I'm usually really good about doing tutorial videos and things like that. How-to videos and stuff. But here recently I've gotten pretty swamped with work. And so I need to take and keep up with my customers. I do do this professionally, full-time as a blacksmith. Um, and I've built up a very uh, strong business over the last uh, nearly a decade that I've been doing this. So I'm just going to have to take care of my customers first and foremost uh, as they're giving me all the money and things to do what I do. So um, I greatly appreciate everybody watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. But uh, I'll do a couple quick things. So I just kind of wanted to showcase, I kind of wanted to showcase a little bit about what the power hammer could do. So we started with something like this. That was inch and a half by inch and a quarter. And it was eight inches long is what I cut it off at. And now this is what we have here. I knocked the edges off. So this here is an inch and a quarter square stock now with the edges knocked off. It's inch and a quarter square. And it came out to, looks like I estimated just right after I take out some of the fish lipping on it. It came out to 10 and 3 quarter inches long. So after I take out some of the little fish mouth on here, that was from cold working it to achieve a better finish. So I sacrificed a little on the forging there. But anyways, so this here is going to be a copper cross. Uh, when, when I get it all said and done, this will be a big split cross that I'm doing for a, for a client of mine. And uh, yeah, so I hope to take you all along for the ride on that one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. Um, if you didn't, that's okay too. Give it a big thumbs down. Just give me a little feedback what you thought about the video. Uh, this is some of the stuff that I'm probably going to have to do, go forward with for just a little bit. Uh, just so I can catch up on my regular customer orders. And I hope you guys all enjoy it. And enjoy it, a little taste of uh, what my life looks like in the shop. So thank you all for watching this video. God bless you. And like I always say, we'll catch you on the next one.